Alright, so um, we have already made a previous tutorial about how to put light and shading on the face, but not how to uh, put light on the entire face, because most of the time, um, in reality, there is a light source uh, shining on the face, and so the other part of the face is brighter and the other part is darker. So how are you doing that in Anime Studio? So um, there are two ways. Of doing it and we are going to uh, experiment that on this little head that I've just drawn um, so what we do we just select the skin color and before we are going to use the method we go to the fill color on the style panel and we look on the coat of the skin color because each color has a coat so this one is FFCB98 so we have to remember that um, for this. Uh, okay. So um, while uh, you have selected the skin color, you go to Effect, Plane, and then you click on Gradient right here. So you can see that um, it you see two colors mingled with each other. Um, so what we do, we click on uh, the white color, which is this this one right here. And we are going to fill in the code that we uh, just had to remember, the skin color, FFC B98. Click. Uh, not click OK, by the way. Um, before we do it, uh, we just put this thing a little bit to the left, so it becomes a little bit more lighter. Click OK. There we go. Then we are going to take the color black right here. And do the same thing again, FFC B98. And this one we are going to make a little darker. Like this. So then click OK. And well, there you go. Now you have um, the effect of the one part of the face brighter than the other one. And so you, can, you see this little thing right here. If you move this, you can move the color wherever you want to so you can make them all this color or this so you can even adjust it where you want it to be and that's very helpful so um that is uh, basically um and with this you can also move it to up and to down by the way so um yeah this is the first method uh the second method is also uh very helpful um so i'm just going to put it this head a little bit right here so we can make room and then I just um, no I just select it yeah and I edit copy edit and paste and then I'll put a second one right here and what I do for this one I just deselect gradient because we are going to use another method so it's back to normal again. Um, so before we, uh, the first thing we do, we select, uh, we want to select these points right here, the points of the head. And uh, it's not going to work this way. So what we do, we just, um, just deselect them. We just lasso mode. And that way, if you hold your mouse and you move, you can select it, anything in, in the red, area uh, any point will be selected right here so then we are going to use something uh, a new tool that's called color points so basically with color points you get this right here you can choose a color and it's on white right now and if you click it gets white but of course you can add other other uh, colors and of course the one we are going to do is uh, this one ffc B98, there we go, and then you can just um, change the color however you want it, of course, there we go, so now you have the same effect, and I'm, ev I'm going to make the color uh, the, on the right side darker, and that's basically the fill color, because um, the brighter color is now in the points, and the skin color, the dark color is in the, the fill 
color itself. So if you just make it a little bit more darker, just as with gra the gradient, you get the same effect. So these are the two methods. They're both very helpful. Um, I would say that the gradient is a bit better because you can adjust it better like this. You can adjust uh, the color points, um, but it's a little bit more difficult if you um, you can um, if you hold in shift and alt and you select this right here and you scroll uh, the color strength changes so it gets either uh, lighter or darker um, <clears throat> but um, no I'm sorry it's not getting lighter or darker but it moves more uh, to the left or to the right so um, but it's uh, I don't fi find it very useful, so um, if you have to really adjust it, I would say I would use gradient uh, for this one. But anyway, uh, you have to decide for yourself, of course. So yeah, that's how you lighten, how you may uh, light up a face or light up an object or whatever. So yeah, that's the end of the, this tutorial. So yeah, I hope you guys learn a lot about this. If you have any more questions, leave a comment. And thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. I make new tutorials every week on Wednesday. I also make my own animations. I will upload them whenever they are ready so you can watch those as well. Thanks for watching guys.